So welcome to the Spitfire. This is the iconic aircraft immortalized in film designed by Reginald Mitchell with its elegant wingspan, elliptical wing. In many ways, quite a fragile aircraft, difficult to produce. It used new technology, monocoque design fuselage. Not that numerous, in fact, in the Battle of Britain. It was outnumbered almost two to one by the Hawker Hurricane, which actually took the brunt of the punishment and did the most damage to the bomber stream. The advantage of the Spitfire, however, was that it could slug it out one-on-one -on -one with the Messerschmitt 109. It's a beautiful pilot's aircraft, nimble, great visibility, and didn't suffer from one or two of the shortcomings of the 109. In later years, the elegant wing of the Spitfire was somewhat modified because it turned out in combat when the Germans came up with some very much more aggressive airplanes, the Fokker Wolf 190, for example, they had to start sawing the tips off the wings in order to try and get the Spitfire to respond to the agility of some of the German aircraft. In terms of armament, the Spitfire was relatively lightly armed, not as lightly as the early 109s. It had eight Browning 303 machine guns in it, which packed quite a punch. However, you did run out of ammunition after a few seconds, so it was important to try and get a really killing blow. So they started putting cannons in the wings, that created a few problems because the wing was so delicate and thin that the cannon actually wouldn't fit, you couldn't get very much ammunition in. But nevertheless, in later marks of Spitfire, cannons became pretty much standard and they actually modified the shape of the wing in order to get more ammunition in. One little tip, if you happen to be flying a Spitfire and you happen to be chasing a Messerschmitt 109, uh, make sure if it decides to dive away from you that you remember to turn upside down because the Spitfire had a carburetor. You go negative G for a minute and the engine stops. Bit of a problem if you want to follow a 109 in a dive. So for the Spitfire pilot, he has the disadvantage. If he wants to run away and still keep his engine, he has to flip the airplane on its back and pull, which means you keep positive G on the carburetor, which means it doesn't float around and uh, cut the fuel supply off. The Messerschmitts didn't have that disadvantage. Nevertheless, extremely effective, very maneuverable, a real pilot's airplane, and had the advantage that unlike the Messerschmitt 109, it probably wasn't gonna kill you when you landed.